Okay, so right now Chad Silver is rolling his eyes, but I cannot help myself. I photoshopped this years ago and I've kept it under special protection because really I'm just jealous of how good your sleep is. And this picture is really my only revenge. That's Never all I got. That's all I got. You look so peaceful, so, so happy. I know. Unfortunately, I got my hair cut since then. <laughs> <laughs> Your locks are beautiful. <laughs> right. Oh, that so never long. gets old, by It the doesn't way. get old to no. me either. You just look so peaceful. Mm -hmm. I, I, love, I love my sleep. <laughs> he loves his sleep. So, yes, we're talking about sleep today. In fact, a survey of 2,000 adults found that 68% of people say they get their best sleep while on vacation. 75% say they wake up feeling more refreshed than when they're at home. Mm. So my question is, do you sleep better on vacay or do you sleep better at home? It depends on where I'm staying. Like if I'm in a really nice hotel with, you know, nice uh, mattress, then yes. But if I'm in a rowdy, loud place like an Airbnb or something, not necessarily. Okay. Vacation is not to vacation for me. Vacation is more of a, a, a fun adventure. Uh -huh. um, and I really should take a vacation after I get back from my vacation just <laughs> yes. to sleep because I don't sleep on vacation. Take, take two uh -huh. days after yep. you get back and have two more extra days to wind down. Mm, you have enough right. time to sleep when you're dead. That's okay, right. There's that. <laughs> no, I sleep better on vacation and my wife is the other way around. She sleeps horrible if she's not in at home. Mm. All right, so here's my next question. Do you bring something from home to help you sleep on vacation? Sleep machine. Sleep machine? Oh. Okay. I, I have my sleep pods just in case I'm in a room or a house with a loud snore. Mm, I might need to try that. I just oh. sleep. I you just I sleep. don't bring anything <laughs> nothing. special. Nothing. No, okay. no mask, nothing. <laughs> well, that same study found that 41% of folks bring some kind of white noise machine or something like that. 40% have some kind of like skincare or face washing routine that helps them go to sleep. 39% either bring a special pillow or they exercise mm. to make sure that they sleep well at, at the same time. So here's the thing too, when it comes to vacation, and you touched on this, Chad, are you a on vacation to relax or something else? Which kind of time off do you take most? Most of my time off, I'm usually going for something like okay. a birthday party or something like mm -hmm. that. It's not often that it's just, you know, just to go on vacation. Right. I don't relax on vacation. No, it's go, 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 go. Go, 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 do, do, do. Four kids tells me that I'm relaxing every day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's look at the study before we let you go. 23% said that they were taking a vacation as in their terms, their plans, but 52% said they were using their vacation time for social obligations like seeing family, a wedding, birthday, reunion, whatever, something that probably does not necess necessitate a whole lot of extra sleep.